Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to a special video, I guess. A special because many, many years ago I did a video in Maya called Your Very First Animation Slash Simulation. And we're going to do the same thing in Blender. Why? Well, because it's fun, okay? So your very first animation slash simulation. Now, why animation slash simulation? Well, because there's a lot of debate apparently about what's an animation and what's a simulation. Technically, what we're going to be doing is a simulation. We're going to be adding physics to certain objects and we're going to knock over a bunch of dominoes, right? So uh, some people call it animation. Technically, it's a simulation. Okay, let's put that to bed. All right, so we're in a new scene right here. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the default cube and we're going to start with a floor plane because we need a floor to put the dominoes on, right? So we're going to go up here to uh, add, we're going to get a mesh, we're going to get a plane and we're going to go in here and we're going to increase the size quite a bit. Now, right now it's set to two meters. Let's set it to 20 meters. So it's more than large enough. Okay. Now this floor needs to be a static thing or in other words, a rigid thing. Okay. So we're going to drag select it. We have our orange outline, so you can see it's selected. And what we're going to do is go up to object. We're going to go to rigid body and we're going to go to add a passive rigid body. Why passive? Because it's not going anywhere, right? It's our floor. All right. What's next? Well, we need dominoes. So we're going to go in here. We're going to go to object mode. We're going to go as right to add mesh. We're going to go and grab a cube. We're going to hit uh, the scale tool and we're going to push that in and make it look like a domino. And that's about right. And then I'm just going to look to see if it's if the spacing is correct and hit uh, move. I'm going to move it up. So that should be sitting nicely on our plane and let's have a look. Yeah, it looks fine. We're going to move it over here a little bit. And then what we need to do is create a bunch of them. OK, so I'm going to hit uh, control C, control V. So let's copy and paste. So we'll give it a little bit of distance like so. Let us select both of them. Do that again, C and V. I'm kind of eyeball the distance here. And just to make it easier, I'll select all four. Do that again. Control C, Control V. And maybe we'll do one more time. Okay. So C and V. There you have it. So now we have a bunch of dominoes on a rigid plane. Now, the question is, are these rigid bodies or are these active bodies? Well, of course, they're active because once I hit them with a the ball, they're supposed to fall over, right? So I'm going to drag select all of these and then we'll go up to object. We're going to go to rigid body and we're going to make this an active rigid body. So now we have our dominoes and now we have our floor. Let's hit play and see what happens. And you can see a very, very slight drop but nothing's falling over, so that's good. We're going to change the number of frames on the right hand side here. Uh, I would say 120 should be fine. And then finally, we need to create an object that's going to fall down, hit the dominoes and make everything go in motion, right? So let's go up here. We're going to get an object once again. Uh, actually add, sorry, a mesh. And we're going to go and take an icosphere. And then subdivision level, let's make it nice and round. Let's say five. That's fine. Okay. Radius is okay. So I'm going to move it over here. I want to make sure that it will hit the first domino. So I'm going to move this back a little bit. That should be plenty. Then I'm going to change the view because I want to make sure that I have some height going on here. And we'll do something like this. That's all good. And of course, we need to add some properties here. With the sphere selected, what we're going to do is we're going to go up once again to object. We're going to go to rigid body. And of course, this is going to be an active rigid body. Okay, so now that we have all that set up and we're in our physics, let's have a look at the mass. Right now, the mass is one kilogram, right? Now, it shouldn't make a difference in dropping speed, whether the mass is higher or not, but it will make a difference whether it will knock over the dominoes or not. So I'll uh, demonstrate. Let's set this to 0 0.0001 kilogram, right? Okay, I'm going to hit play and I suspect it will not knock over the dominoes, but we'll see. Here we go. 
And there you go. Nothing really happened. And then the ball falls off of the plane. Okay. All right. Now let's set this to 50 kilograms. And now I'm pretty sure that the dominoes will be knocked over. All right. Let's have a go. So we're going to go to frame one. We're going to hit play. And there you have it. Exactly as expected. So yeah, there you go. There is your very first uh, simulation in uh, Blender. Now, why is this a simulation and not an animation? Well, animation is typically when you keyframe things uh, automatically or manually, right? You could say the ball is in this position on frame one and then you keyframe it to be in this position in the next frame and so forth. In this case, what we did is we added dynamic properties to objects and we let it play out. So that's why it's a simulation. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this little uh, simulation, had some fun with it, and if you did, please hit that sub button and hit the bell icon so you get notified when new stuff comes up, right? Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for checking it out. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.